the Snow Fox, otherwise known as the Below Zero promo art vehicle that I never actually made in my first playthrough. The Snow Fox is a one-person hover bike designed for land exploration in low to medium gravity environments, and while its pilot will be exposed to the elements and left unprotected while riding on its back due to the absence of any protective casing or glass, what the vehicle lacks in protection it makes up for in speed and manoeuvrability, with it running rings around most potential threats. The Snow Fox's ability to be used in low gravity environments means this vehicle is probably used for travelling short distances on rimworld planets and small moons, and it's not just used in arctic environments, so that means you get to look like a cool member of a space age biker gang even more often. The Snow Fox hovers using its four thrusters to evenly distribute lift around the vehicle and keep it steady, and comes equipped with a front headlight for increased visibility and an upgrade panel positioned on its left hand side for inserting a singular upgrade module. The Snow Fox can move at 10.5 meters a second, which is roughly 37.8 kilometers an hour or 23.4 miles per hour, which makes it significantly slower than a real life Arctic Fox, which can travel at 13.8 meters a second. But as a consolation prize, this does make the Snow Fox the joint second fastest vehicle in the game. A Cyclops traveling at maximum speed will move at the same 10.5 meters a second as the Snow Fox, but the Cyclops can only sustain this speed for a short period of time. The only vehicle that we currently know of that is faster than the Snow Fox is the Seamoth, which clocks in at a speed of 13 meters a second. The Snow Fox's rider has the ability to temporarily boost speed for a short amount of time to escape threats quickly using its boosters, and if the Snow Fox is upgraded with a jump module, this booster can be reconfigured to allow the Snow Fox to make small jumps across the terrain, with the ability to jump higher by holding the jump button for longer. The ability to make small jumps is particularly useful in Sector Zero's Arctic-like conditions due to the frequent breaking and drifting of ice, as despite the Snow Fox's ability to hover, the vehicle cannot function without land beneath it, and if you take it out across the waves, you'll be in for a bit of a cold shock in 4546B's frozen north. But don't worry too much if you've taken a little dip in the ocean, as the Snow Fox can be picked up and carried by its pilot, taking up 9 slots of storage in the inventory. With the Snow Fox equipped onto the hotbar, its battery can actually be changed on the fly in a similar way to many handheld appliances such as the scanner tool, giving the vehicle a greater degree of versatility. The Snow Fox is constructed with two pieces of magnetite, a single piece of titanium, a battery and lubricants by the two metal arms of the Snow Fox hover pad. In Subnautica, magnetite is a metal oxide which contains magnetic properties, and this likely plays a role in the vehicle's ability to hover. The Snow Fox can be parked, repaired and charged by placing it on the Snow Fox hover pad that is required for its construction, and the hover pad is able to make these changes and recharge the Snow Fox's battery by using magnetic to thermal energy conversion. When parked on the hover pad, the Snow Fox can be recolored and given a custom name through the attached panel. The Snow Fox can also be upgraded with an Ice Worm Attack Reduction module, which reduces the amount of attacks the pilot will suffer from Ice Worms. Ice Worms travel just below the surface of the ice and ambush and hunt their prey by being drawn to the vibrations in the ice above them. When an object vibrates, it causes movement in the surrounding air molecules, which causes them to bump into other air molecules and make them vibrate as well. And in Sector Zero, this is what the Ice Worm picks up on to hunt its prey. So it's likely that the Ice Worm Attack Reduction module reduces the Snow Fox's vibrations in some way, likely by reducing the sound made by the engine and the vibration it produces. The Snow Fox also had a number of upgrade modules cut from the final release of Below Zero. According to Trello, which was the online developer board used by Unknown Worlds during Below Zero's development, the Snow Fox was originally supposed to have two upgrade slots instead of just one which is seen in the final build of the game. Along with this planned increase in upgrade slots, a number of possible upgrades were discussed, and these were simply referred to as boost intensity, silent running, power efficiency, acceleration and max speed. These upgrades are all pretty self-explanatory, and would either increase the vehicle's max speed and acceleration, or make it more energy efficient, meaning its battery would drain at a reduced rate. It's hard to identify why these modules were cut, but going through the comments left on Trello, it seems that there wasn't much capacity for further increasing the vehicle's speed, as this would have led to gameplay issues. It's possible that the silent running module is what would later become the Ice Worm Attack Reduction module, as these both serve the same purpose of reducing noise, but we simply don't have enough information to confirm that for sure. And that's everything you need to know about the Snow Fox. What do you think of the vehicle, and how useful do you think it is? Did you make one on your first playthrough, or did you simply walk around on land in the prawn suit like I did the first time around? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've ever wondered what Altera actually uses the prawn suit for, then you should click right here to find out more, and I'll see you over there to tell you all about it.